Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider. I wanna wish you all a happy new year. Congrats on making it to 2023. And in this video, I wanna show you some really cool improvements we've made to the TrendSpider strategy tester that are designed to make it easier and more fluid for you to build strategies and test them in TrendSpider. So with that little intro out of the way, let's jump in and take a look. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the strategy tester. This will open the strategy tester window at the bottom of my screen. And before I jump into showing you the new capabilities we've added to it, I just wanna highlight one small interface tweak that we've done that should make your lives a little bit easier. And that's this little full screen button on the bottom right corner of the, the strategy tester window next to the maximize button. Maximize will make it bigger, but the full screen button will take up your entire screen so you can work and focus just on building strategies without any other distractions in your way. Next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna open one of my pre-made strategies. I'm gonna open strategy one. This is a strategy I frequently use in my demonstration videos. So if you've watched a few of these with me, you're probably familiar with this one. And I'm just gonna click run and I'm gonna let the back tester compute what would have happened if I traded this way going back about three years with these entry and exit conditions as my sole guidance for placing and getting out of trades. Now you can see this strategy works really well on this particular leverage ETF. It returns 95.5% versus 1.3% 1 1 if I would have just bought and held this asset. That's pretty good, but let's see if we can improve that somehow. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to the Price Behavior Explorer chart. That's the top left chart. And I'm gonna full screen it on my screen and make it take up the entire window. Now you're gonna notice that there's a few things that have changed on this chart. And they mostly pertain to the chart legend here. We have uh, removed some of the less popular and less useful options that you can display in your chart. And we've replaced them with a few new ones that we think are more useful and more powerful for you. So the first one I wanna highlight for you is there are now two different step-down graphs that will show you the number of trades that are winning and losing trades that have and how long they have lasted. You can see that about 25 candles into the strategy, only 11 trades that have lost money were still open. Um, and you can see here that there were about 68 trades that ended up making money that were still open about 25 candles in. This gives you the ability to separate winning and losing trades to see how long your losing trades tend to last, how long your winning trades tend to last. And you can use this information, and I'll show you how in just a moment, to optimize your strategy and make it perform a little bit better. We've also added a couple other options here. So you now have the ability to uh, view the 96th percentile of your winning trades and your losing trades together. So now you can see in this red cloud here that yes, uh, your losing trades did not last very long, but they did lose quite a bit, right? So um, of the trades that made it about 14 candles or so, some of them went down quite a bit, about 8% here. Right, and of the trades that won, while they do step down slower, right, you can see here that only six positions made it 60 or so candles into the strategy. So with this information, you can then go in and optimize your strategy a little bit better in TrendSpider now, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna minimize the Price Behavior Explorer chart, and I'm gonna go down to my exit conditions here, and I'm gonna click on Add Number of Candles Past Condition. Now, if you remember, this particular condition used to only have one input field and you used to be able to have only one candle base exit in a strategy. You now can have multiple candle base exits in a strategy and they have multiple conditions to them. So let's jump into those a little bit. This first one, it's set to exit after 30 candles for any PL. But let's say based on what we were looking at in the Price Behavior Explorer chart, we don't want our losing trades to last very long. So we can say exit after 10 candles for any PL that is less than, let's say, 1%. This is gonna look at 10 candles after entry. And if your trade is performing under 1% positive, it's gonna exit the trade immediately at that point. The next condition is also the same. It's an exit after candles passed. We've got it set to 30. And in this one, let's change it so it's exit after uh, 30 candles have passed if we have gained 10% or more. We can then go back up here and click run and see what that will look like with those tweak conditions. Transpider is going to approximate what your actual PL would have looked like if you actually traded in this way. That's a really cool thing because it allows you to curve fit a strategy if you choose to very, very granularly based on the performance of that strategy over time. So we just uh, ran that strategy. We can see that we've improved our performance quite a bit here. 
we actually almost doubled it. It returned like 95% compared to 1.3 buy and hold. And now it is returning 181 almost percent uh, compared to buy and hold. The entry and exit rules have stayed the same, but now we've filtered out losing trades earlier and we've captured profits when we had them. So let's look at what that looks like on the price behavior explorer chart now. You'll notice that when we added these new conditions to our exit side, we now have two vertical lines added to our price behavior explorer. This is so we can see when we're exiting our losers and when we're taking our profits. And we, if we added more of uh, these candle based exits, we would have more lines on the chart as well. So you can then go in and tweak these and say, you know what, uh, the losing trades, I should probably stop them a little earlier. Maybe I should stop them at eight or seven candles instead of 10. So we can go in here and we can change that to a seven and we can run it and we can see if that further enhances the performance of this strategy on this asset. This is a, a, a form of curve fitting. Uh, it doesn't always make things better. Sometimes it makes things worse. As you can see here, we went from 180% return to 108%. So we can just go back here and tweak that back and continue to iterate and experiment further. But if you wanna uh, fit a strategy to a particular chart, this is one of the best ways to do it. Curve fitting has a bit of a bad reputation, but a lot of successful algorithmic traders do use curve fitting. They just know when their strategy is no longer fit and they then disable it on whatever asset they're trading it on. Um, and it can be a tool that you can use to capture alpha while it's there if you choose to and if you know what you're doing. Um, there's obviously a lot of other ways to use the, the back tester to create more generalized strategies, but this is something that we think really enhances the ability of you to create strategies that might perform really well. And we hope you like it and uh, stay tuned. There's going to be quite a bit more for the strategy tester. We're investing very heavily in improving this particular aspect of our platform uh, in, the, in the coming weeks and months. So again, thank you for watching. I hope you found it interesting and have a great day.